Hello YouTube, I'm back with another duel. Um, this may, may not be the most uh, legit duel ever, I, I presume, because my pale opponent's not playing an extra deck. This is simply a fan that I'm up against, who wants to try out his unique uh, build for dinosaurs. And oh, I'm not gonna lie, it gave me he gave me a match. He was getting the hang of this deck. And you may notice he managed to summon out a lot of strong monsters from his main deck. Thanks to his idea and strategy that he is utilizing in dinosaurs that not many people would think of. And usually the extra deck is very important. You give pretty much mandatory. Especially if you want to get more um, resource as well as more... Um, options but in this case he does uh, at the same time he should use the extra deck but he seemed to do well without it because with the extra it'll help him overcome boards that exist on the their the, on their opponent's field and that that way they have more ways of actually trying to overcome the pressure but as of now it looks like he's just gonna go with the regular dinosaurs. He's selling something different. He has no other hand traps. I'm sorry about my sniffling, you guys. But again, this is just to watch something different. So you can actually see something exciting about the duel. So, But again, it helps you guys actually try to, uh, like, how to... Like refrain from actually copying someone's deck and try to see if there's other decks that can catch your opponent by surprise and actually help you become able to work on something that no one can ever uh, decide on that nobody can be able to come up with something unique and it helps you be proud of your own like uniqueness as well as a strategy that you were able to make something not many people have ever thought about so but from here on out i special summon the foe top thrasher since i control no monsters i banish my equip spell or my good special summon gear freed then i normal summon goblinberg and i special summon the shade brigadine since i have no traps in my grave i'm going to link summon as you see right now, into Assault, use its effect to search into Neo Space Connector, which will be handy next turn. So, and I'll use other effect to send equipped spells from my deck to the grave. It's supposed to summon a warrior type monster from my deck that's levels equal to the number of equipped cards I sent to the graveyard by this effect. As you're going to see right now, I'm going to go into Renaud. Which allow me, allow me to retrieve one of my uh, equip spells, which is Living Fossil. I'm thinking whether I should use it or not. I'm going to find out sooner or later. I'm just going to go into my Link 4. And then straight away go into Borosaur Dragon. I, c I can't use uh, Immortal Gear Freed's effect. So Borosaur would gain half of Ultimate Tarno's attack. It's 4500, but it would lose the effect because it's unaffected by Boroso thanks to mis uh, Miscellaneous Source. And then I'll use Borosword's effect to switch uh, Gear Free to Defense. And then he'll go for a second attack with 45. I'll admit, my opponent was actually giving me quite a challenge. He's playing a really strong deck. Takes an extra 15, although it's not a like, legitimate like, uh, competitive Yu-Gi-Oh deck. But of all, he, it seems like he's doing really well. He knows what he's doing. He doesn't even really need the extra deck, as I can tell. So, Just playing a bunch of dinosaurs and mating Ultimate Conductor Tyranos should be enough. Whether he's mating 2 or 3 will make a huge difference in this duel. Which is true though, that you, if, if he was to not use the extra deck, he should just play a pot of extravagance. Or pot of prosperity, who knows? If he realized he didn't need to use the extra because it's cards like pot of 
prosperity power of extravagance will make a huge difference, especially if you don't need to use the extra deck, allow him to gain more consistency and see his main uh, key cards earlier in the duel. So I'll switch his conductor to defense to ensure that he doesn't get multiple attacks on me. To make sure that I don't, that because consider how much of a threat he is, I'm I'm not willing really to take that chance. So as he's gonna activate his Peter Dodds effect. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it doesn't really matter. It's the first part I have to make sure to correct, correct it, or his baby dinosaur. So his Overaptor will activate its effect when normal spell summoned. It'll take a dinosaur monster from his deck, either add it or send it to the graveyard. And they'll special summon ultimate Tyranno. I'm not too sure if it's a legal play because it's sending to the graveyard by card effect. And this card has to be destroyed by a card effect rather than sent to the graveyard. But overall, he's still learning. I'm willing to give him a chance to let him try to figure it out himself but I just want to see how much he learns on his own so so at the same time someone will eventually remind him of his mistake and then eventually he will realize that he can make the deck a lot better and they can make better choices when deciding to use card effects so that he doesn't make the same mistake and then eventually realize the difference between how the card actually works when you actually make sure to read it like theoretically, the the theory behind this card is that it has to be actually destroyed by a card effect, rather than sent to the graveyard by a card effect, is what it especially specifically means when you if you want to activate Pterodon's effect. So uh, the reason why I said this connector will help is because I'm adding a normal summon to special summon me a space aqua dolphin from my deck. My opponent must reveal one card that's in his hand. It gets discarded to grave. Most likely, I'm gonna win this turn. So, so obviously, whoever is up against uh, Yugi Moto one, two, three should remind him about Pterodon's effect that has to be destroyed by card effect. Rather than said, but I want to give him a break. So, I want him to learn and be able to realize his mistakes and try to eventually adjust as a duelist when someone reminds him and then he realizes that he can make better decisions when reading his cards and that he can figure that there's his, there's still a long way for him to actually improve his deck and that like it should, there's the you can still have that passion there's nothing definitely it's still great to have that passion for Yu-Gi-Oh but at the same time, you gotta know what you're doing, so people aren't confused that you aren't trying to cheat them, because what he's doing, they, they it could be considered cheating if he do, if he doesn't he doesn't know the effect too well. So that's something he needs to be aware about. But for me, it was just a fun duel. I, I want to actually see what he's capable of, and so that he can learn from his own experience after facing me. Maybe he'll watch the video. Who knows? But again, he could be able to be able to gain a lot from this duel. It, it could definitely help benefit him in the future. But looking at this duel, oh yeah, okay, I kind of forced it. Yeah. So silent boots, as you see now, we're supposed to face down defense. But at this point, it, it wouldn't really matter. It's not, it's not gonna it's not gonna really stop me from playing what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna go to gear freed. The same thing, banish an equip spell from my hand or graveyard, special summon him. It's pretty much game from now on. It's pretty much game from here on out. So you can see as what's happening. I explained everything. And then I told him, he told me good game. I just gave him the win after so he could add just to help him have a positive attitude and then just be proud of what he managed to achieve on his own. But facing me really can he can really accomplish something from this duel so he should def he'll definitely he should definitely learn from his mistakes and try to fix what he might possibly be doing wrong and try to revitalize his deck and maybe do some other card choice some other changes to his deck 
as well as different card choices that will benefit him, especially if you're up against that, because dinosaurs are not competitive like they used to be because miscellaneous source has been uh, limited. And they do have a lack of options, but that is why it's important to have extra decks so you can actually be able to make the most out of them, whether you want to get rid of cards for your extra deck. So draw more cards to help you see your key cards as quickly as possible, but at the same time to make dinosaurs more relevant. Uh, but overall, I admit it was a fun duel. It wasn't like the most competitive, but it's, it's, it's something, it's really fun to see something different, to see diff between different uh, decks going up against each other rather than the same usual meta decks that, that are out there that people can pretty much not not really predict but that they're not surprised when they see the same cards being used especially that are relevant in the meta and I've always been very popular and you kind of like expect something like those cards to be used in a duel which gives players an idea how to counter them so in this deck, I'm not sure whether you know how to be able to counter this deck because this is like unusual, but like again, he gave me a fun duel, which I'm really happy about. Like we need to see more duels like this. Which is probably why I have been doing these kind of videos so often. But if there were if a duels like this can exist then it would definitely be a lot more exciting. But again, hope you guys enjoyed the duel. Be sure to check for more upcoming content later in the future. Be sure to check your notifications. Comment, like, subscribe, thank you.